Our objective today is convert between percents, fractions, and decimals. So what is a percent? A percent is a ratio or a fraction that compares a number to 100. The word percent means per hundred. So that means that if, for example, we have 40 percent, this is equivalent to 40 over 100 or 40 hundreds. If you want to represent a percent with a diagram or a visual, suppose that you have a grid of 100 squares, and if you shade 40 of those squares, that portion represents our 40 percent. So let's do some examples. What is three-fifths as a percent? When you're done, shade the grid to represent it. So, as I told you, percent means per hundred. We need to convert this fraction, three-fifths, to an equivalent fraction with the denominator 100. I have another video where I talk about uh, equivalent fractions. I am going to leave the link here in the description if you want to check it out. If you want a refresher about equivalent fractions, you can go and check that out later. So, how can I convert three-fifths to a fraction with the denominator 100? Well, five easily can be converted to 100 if you multiply by 20. So, if you want an equivalent numerator, whatever you do to the denominator, you also need to do it to the numerator to make an equivalent fraction. So, 3 times 20, that will be 60. So, 3 fifths is equivalent to 60 hundredths. I want a percent. So, once I have my fraction over 100, I just get rid of that denominator and add the percent symbol. So, three-fifths is equivalent to 60%. If I want to represent 60% in the grid, I need to shade 60, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60 of those squares. Every row has 10 squares, so I am shading 60 little squares out of 100. And this portion represents 60%. This portion represents my 60%. Let's try another example. Ms. Smith graded 13 out of 20 tests this weekend. What percent did she grade it? So, she had a total of 20 tests and she graded 13. So, I can represent this information as a fraction. So, 13 twentieths or 13 out of 20 will, re will be represented as a fraction. I want to convert this fraction to a percent. So again, percent means per hundred. So I need to find an equivalent fraction with the denominator 100. So 20 is a number that easily can be changed to 100 if I multiply times 5. Again, if you want to practice equivalent fractions, go and check the description of this video. I will give you that link there. So, whatever you do to the bottom, don't forget to do it to the top. You need to multiply 13 times 5. If you don't know how much is 13 times 5, you can do your multiplication here quickly by the side. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So, this will be 65 hundredths. So, now that you have your fraction over 100, you just eliminate the denominator and add your percent symbol. 65% is what she graded. Now we are going to do the opposite. We want to represent 32% as a fraction in simplest form. So again, 
percent means per hundred. So 32% is equivalent to 32 over 100. I have my fraction, but now I need to simplify it. So how do I simplify a fraction? If you want a refresher about simplifying fractions, I also have a video. I am going to link it here in the description if you want to practice simplifying fraction. You need to think of factors of 32 and 100 and try to think of a common one. So, for example, 32 and 100 are even. I can divide both by 2. 2 is a factor that they have in common. But if you observe, 4 is also a factor. So, I can also divide by 4. If you find a bigger or a higher factor, you will finish faster simplifying this fraction. But it doesn't matter. You can start with factor 2, and then you will realize that you need to simplify again. So, I am going to simplify by 4. I know that both are divisible by 4. So, I am going to use that factor. 32 divided by 4, that will be 8. 100 divided by 4, that will be 25. Can I simplify this fraction a little more? Well, uh, I cannot divide by 2 because both are not even. I cannot divide by 3. I cannot divide by 4. Well, 8 is divisible by 4, but 25 isn't. I cannot divide by 5. I, I am trying to use my rules of divisibility. I also have a video about rules of divisibility. If you want to check it out, I'm also going to leave it in the description. So I think I'm done. That will be my fraction in simplest form. 8 25 is equivalent to 32%. Now we're going to convert decimals to percent. How can we convert 6300 to 8% or 0 0.63? Well, again, we want to convert to percent, right? So if you think of that last digit, that, lead, that 3 is positioned in the hundreds place. So if I want to convert this decimal to a fraction, that will be 63 hundredths. I also have a video explaining how to, pers how to convert decimals to fractions. I am also going to leave it here in the description if you want a refresher about converting decimals to fractions. So now that I have 63 hundredths and I want a percent, percent means fraction over 100. So I already have it. I already have 63 per 100. So I just get rid of that denominator, add the percent symbol, and I'm done. 63% is equivalent to 0 0.63. But what about this one? How can we convert 0 0.8 or 8 tenths to 8%? Well, I underline my last digit. 8 is in the tenths place. So I am going to convert that decimal to fraction first, but I want 8%. That means that my fraction needs to be over 100, but I have it over 10. So I need to find an equivalent fraction with the denominator 100. So easily 10 times 10 can be converted to that 100. So 8 times 10, that will be 80. Now that I have my fraction over 100, I can just write my percent, 80%. So 8 tenths is equivalent to 80%. Or you can just learn this trick. To convert a decimal to a percent, you just need to move the decimal point to places to the right and then put the percent symbol on. So you can also use this trick instead of doing that much calculation. So let's try with these examples. How do I convert 0 0.71 or 71 hundredths to a percent using this trick? I am going to move this decimal point twice to the right. So the decimal point now 
is after one, so that means 71 holes, and then you just include the percent symbol. What about this one? Five tenths, I need to move the decimal twice. Oh, but I don't have enough digits. When you don't have enough digits, don't forget to include that zero because that is equivalent to 0.5. So that means that I have 50%. Get rid of that decimal because now you have a hole and you just include the, the percent symbol. If you have a decimal that is bigger than one, you are going to have a percent bigger than 100, but that's okay, we use the same trick. Move the decimal twice to the right, so we have a percent bigger than 100, that is 258%. And finally, we are going to learn how to convert percent to decimal. So, convert 57% to a decimal. Percent, that little symbol, means per 100. So, 57% means 57 hundredths. And how do we convert a fraction to a decimal? I also have a video about converting fractions to decimal. I'm leaving all those links in the description. So, you, if you need a refresher about those objectives, you can go and check them out. So, if your denominator is either 10, 100, 1,000, and so on, it is super easy to change fractions like that to decimals. So, 57 hundredths will be just 0 0.57. That's 7 must be in the hundredths place. So, percent, 57 percent, is equivalent to 57 hundredths. Okay, so now is your turn. I want you to practice some of these conversions. I am going to leave the solution at the end of this video. Take out your notebook, take out a piece of paper. You can pause this video now. Try to do these examples. And when you're done, click play and go and check the solution. And hopefully you will have them correct. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe, follow me on my other social uh, media, Instagram and Twitter at Numeritos TV. If you want to suggest an objective or a topic, let me know by DM or send me an email. Bye bye.